Hello everyone, my name is Sean Scott and today we're going to look at the self-test facility of sounders on our evacuation systems. So within BS8629 um, under part 21 which is the maintenance section there is a requirement for over a period of 12 months all evacuation alert devices should be checked for correct operation. The EC or the evacuation control indicating equipment should be used to operate each sounder in turn and that's without operating any other sounder. So each individual sounder should be tested and of course confirmed that the sounder operates. Now this test can normally be carried out without entry to each flat simply by listening outside which can confirm operation. And if systems have the technology and they incorporate a self-test facility whereby confirmation can actually be obtained at the control panel and this will confirm that each sounder has operated correctly, then it's not a requirement to listen outside of the flat of the apartment. We can use the technology of the sounder. So with our VAC GO system, we incorporate this facility. So to access this facility, we use our virtual terminal software. With the virtual terminal software, once we are connected to the control panel, we just simply select menu and we select test. So we can use the navigation buttons to access test or we can use these numerical shortcuts as well. So number one, number two, three, four and so on. Within the test facility, we have an outputs option. This gives us a list of our zones. So if we scroll down, for example, we're looking at the 10th floor today. And we scroll across. This takes us into the 10th floor in zone 10. And we have two flats. So we have flat 44 and we have flat 45. To test the sounder, we simply highlight the appropriate device. So if I want to test the sounder in flat 44, for example, I press tick and we get the option to test this device. We press tick again to confirm. The test LED illuminates, telling us the device is in test. And with the self-test feature built into the sounder, if the sounder does not sound, the device will go into fault. Alternatively, we can use the two-man testing with one person listening outside of the door. But with the Evac Go system, this is not required. We can use the self-test facility. To cancel the test, we press tick again, scroll down, and we can cancel test. This time, we're going to scroll onto the next flat, flat 45. We press tick to test the device again, test this device, test LED illuminates. This time, unfortunately, we have a sounder fault. So that's the technology of the sounder telling us that the sounder has not activated. If I then cancel the test, the test LED is no longer illuminated, but we now have a fault with a sounder fault. So if we escape and we select view and select faults, we have a fault on the 10th floor. We scroll across flight 45 and it's a device fault. So this cannot simply be reset. The sounder has to be rectified before this fault will then clear. Once the fault's been rectified, the sound has been replaced. To clear the sounder fault and the fault condition within the panel, we then need to retest the sounder device. So we simply select menu, and we need to again select test, so I can just use the navigation keys, or I can use the numerical shortcuts and press number four. Number five will take me to outputs, Scroll down to zone 10. Alternatively, 
I can just type in number 10 and press tick. This is a shortcut. And scroll across into the zone. And it was flat 45 that had the issue. We scroll down into flat 45 again and press the tick button to test. Test this device, press tick. Test button, test LED, sorry, illuminates. Fault is cleared. Tick again, cancel test. And there we go. And that shows the self-test facility with the Evac Go system.